पीएम मोदी इज इनोग्रेटिंग द इन्वेस्टर्स समिट करंटली इन यूपी दो विजुअल देयर ऑन योर स्क्रीन द पी एम हैज एंटर्ड द वेन्यू एंड द स्टेट इज आइंग हैज मिशन टू बिकम अ वन ट्रिलियन इकोनॉमी यू पी सी एम देयर योगी आदित्यनाथ एट द इनोग्रेशन एज वेल ही इज द पी एम इज इनोग्रेटिंग अ थ्री डे समिट दिस इज अ यू पी ग्लोबल इन्वेस्टर्स समिट दैट इज बींग इनोग्रेटेड करंटली एंड दिस इज एम एट शो केसिंग उत्तर प्रदेश एज अ मेजर इन्वेस्टमेंट डेस्टिनेशन दैट्स वॉट दिस ग्लोबल इन्वेस्टर्स समिट इज अबाउट एंड दिस इज टेकिंग प्लेस इन लखनऊ करंटली इट विल हैव थर्टी फोर सेशन विद टेन सेशन ऑन डे वन अपार्ट फ्रॉम द पी एम इनोग्रल सेशन विल Going across to my colleague Pranshu Mishra, who joins us. Uh, good morning to you, Pranshu. The inaugural session also to be addressed by Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, CM Yogi Adityanath, and a lot of in, uh, noted industrialists such as Mukesh Ambani, Anand Mahendra. Has the event started yet? Uh, what are you seeing around you? is the equipment out here and uh, the alliance industry chairperson mukesh ambani among other uh, senior business leaders is already here uh, and clearly you know the up is uh, the government of the up state of uttar pradesh uh, is eyeing a major boost as far as the economic growth is concerned uh, we have heard up chief minister saying that you know he aims to make up a 1 trillion dollar economy in nation's uh, uh, economic growth aspirations of being a 5 trillion dollar economy by 2027 so in that sense government claims that mus worth of 27 lakh crores have already been signed. uh the, the, the real question is or the real you know uh, effort by the government would be to ensure that the bulk of these meus are actually executed because meus at the moment are just assurances from various industrial groups both national and uh, as well as the foreign groups uh, of uh, of promising investment in the state of uttar pradesh so government clearly is you know quite optimistic uh, that that so much of investment proposals have been obtained uh, and it also aims at the conversion of at least 10 lakh crores worth of these meus out of the total figure of 27 lakh crores so clearly it's a major major boost and the government says that you know uh, the, the, this entire exercise would be a grand success because up has clearly moved out of the shadows of darkness uh, witness in the past law and order situation according to the bjp and the chief minister has dramatically drastically improved over the years no longer the business community or the investors will feel hesitant of putting in their money in the state of uttar pradesh there is a larger better connectivity of road infrastructure transport facilities uh, up has the longest uh, waterways it has around 7 15000 kilometers of railway network uh, five operational expressways uh, and also nine international uh, airports uh, uh, getting operational here in the state of uttar pradesh so in terms of logistics in terms of msme 96 lakh msme units uh, working in the state of uttar pradesh the biggest demographic dividend in terms of you know uh, having the uh, having the maximum population around 25 crores uh, population of a uh, working age group between 18 to 60 so the government feels that ups all the required you know elements it has the biggest consumer base it it has a, a, a sufficient uh, land data bank it has a, a great potential in terms of agro business manufacturing business pharmaceutical industry and therefore it feels that this exercise of today would pave in the way of future development the way of future investments over the period of next 4 years so mus that will be executed today that have been promised today the government is eyeing a window of next 4 years before the state goes to election again in, in 2027 to implement those on those mus Prime Minister has said that UP and uh, that double growth phenomena has worked miracle for Uttar Pradesh, and therefore, when Prime Minister speaks here shortly, uh, the eyes will be on the message he has for Uttar Pradesh. Uh, the announcement comes in from the Prime Minister. We all. Let me try and re-establish that connection with my colleague Pranshu Mishra. As he is telling us. This is the flagship investment summit of Uttar Pradesh. Union ministers uh, who are expected to attend the event today include Defence Minister Rajnath Singh. Uh, also, uh, our Finance Minister Nirmala Sita Raman is expected uh, to be there. We're also uh, expecting to see uh, the presence of about 300 industrialists, such as uh, Reliance Industries Chairperson Mr. Mukesh Ambani, K. Chandrasekharan, Kumar Mangalam Birla, and Anand Mahindra. so earlier uh, the target for this summit was about 10 lakh crore rupees later it has been revised to 17.3 lakh crore so this is a big 
push for investment in Uttar Pradesh. And as my colleague Pranchu Mishra was telling us, there were some hurdles earlier, uh, such as a law and order situation, but uh, the state and the centre believe that that has been fixed as of now and that all the conditions there are conducive uh, for economic and industrial development. And we do know that global honchos from UK and Japan are expected uh, to be taking place, uh, to be taking part in this uh, summit as well. Uh, today and it is going to be a collaboration between the industrialists, the think tanks and the government. So it is a flagship summit which is going to be uh, going across for about three days. Um, the electricity department, the uh, traffic department and also the roads uh, to the summit have been bolstered. Uh, the preparations have been taking place for about Two months now and the state government has also made arrangements to live telecast this entire event. Now the inauguration is going to be done by the Prime Minister there and he uh, is there on your screens. This is taking place in Lucknow and uh, as we were telling you, besides the Prime Minister, the President Draupadi Murmu as well is expected to be attending. And uh, Over 15 cabinet ministers including our finance minister Nirmala Sita Raman, health minister Mansuk Mandavya, women and child, child development minister Smriti Rani and transport minister Nitin Gadkari, they're all expected to attend this event.